Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are gonna make um, our stun system and we are gonna fix some bugs. So uh, first we are going to fix uh, a kind of bug with the equipping and unequipping. That when you get attacked while you are um, equipping your weapon or unequipping your weapon, um, it kind of bugs you out. So. Let's do a equip animations player dot stopped. So when the animation stops, it stops. Connect function. And then we check if we are stunned. So that is basically checking if we got attacked. Uh, and that's why it stopped. And then now it's basically just do everything like the animation would have, um, yeah. <clears throat> the animation would have finished like this. So basically, um, if the character, uh, if the player is pulling out the sword, but he gets interrupted, he has it equipped after afterwards. And we have to do the same for unequipping. So here we just do this again. Boom. And this. Okay, and change this to unequip animations. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna again um, link this module in the description because we're gonna use the stun handler module. It's yeah, basically uh, just a module that handles stunning um, for you. So then just go into this post that is gonna be linked in the description Then scroll down here until you see this link. And then you can get this and then you can just um, search this in your toolbox and let's drag this into um, let's, let's just drag this into other. Okay. So, uh, now let's get, uh, go into our hit service module. And here we are gonna get the stun handler. So local stun handler equals to require um, server storage modules dot other dot stun handler version 2 then let's first um, have a new stat for our open so local stun stun time equals to weapon stats dot stun time but we haven't actually made a stun time yet so open your weapon stats and have a new value that's called stun time. And for me, it's just gonna be like one second here. Mm, one point one seconds here. And 1.2 seconds here. Okay. Then go back into your hit service. And now we can, because this module is just really, really simple to use, we can do um, stun. Handler dot stun, then the, our enemy humanoid, and the stun time. Okay. But I actually also want to modify the stun handler uh, a little bit. Okay, so um, down here in the stun handler, um, we want to do so because this, like, we're fixing a bug now that when, while you're swinging, and you get attacked while you're swinging, you are stunned forever, basically. And that is what we are gonna fix in the stun handle itself. So, in here, we are gonna um, reset the walk speed. So, uh, let's first get the starter player. So, local starter player equals to game get so starter player. 
and then down here. Let's do human at walk, uh, dot walk speed equals to starter player dot character walk speed. And then copy this again. But this time with uh, jump power. And jump height. Uh, jump character jump power. And character jump height. And then let's also reset our uh, humanoid parents, so the enemy's character. Let's reset their attacking attribute. And their swing attribute. Okay. Uh, and basically here we are resetting their speed. So that the, their actual normal speed is uh, stored. And we set it here. But they're still not going to be able to move because right after that we are setting everything to zero again. You can change this. You can just put this out if you still want your character to move while being um, attacked. Also this. Um, yeah. And you can also uh, lower your stun time. Then you could make something like hit traits later on. Um, but now let's also just make a quick dummy that is actually showing us um, when our character is stunned or when someone is stunned. So um, let's just add a new part that is stun indicator. Then let's roll this to the head. So um, what's a 60? And then boom, boom. Maybe let's make this uh, move this up. Oops, that's not up. A bit more. And let's make this smaller. Make it neon, sort. It's easy to see and a green. Okay. Now let's write a really short script, so script, then script.parent get attribute change signal, stunt, connect function, if script.parent get attribute stunt, then um, we want to set the our script dot oh I didn't mean script dot parent dot parent and here also dot parent but here script dot parent dot color equals to color three dot from RGB and if we are stunned then it's gonna be a red color but if it isn't stunned it's gonna be the green color okay now let's and uh, try this out. So, yeah, you can see the enemy is stunned. It also goes away after the 1.1 second. But yeah, okay. This seems to work. So yeah, this is our stun script. If you have uh, found any bugs, write them in the comments. And I will fix them in the next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.